Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your, I think it's bi-weeklies. Okay, let's begin over here. Um, if you're new to this channel, um, the first card is the card of resonance. The rest has to be future, which means it should not even resonate with you. Okay, does it make sense? Um, and because uh, we we do future readings here, not past. Um, because I cannot help you if we keep reading the past. That's our those are just like psychology kind of reading. Well, it's healthy, but I don't do that. Okay, I want to see the future. That's what I want to see, so you can navigate. Um, I also have your chart here. Interesting enough, on my side, um, I get my desktop. No, it's a laptop desktop. Okay, <laughs> just in case we need it for reference. Actually, right now it's ascendant in Libra. Interesting, the time that I'm reading this, mm -hmm. Ascendant Libra, meaning that's what's the rising on the east. Okay, so let's begin here, okay? This is not timeless, because timeless is useless. Um, I have to predict the time for you so that I can really give you guidance. If it's going to happen in 10 years, then, you know, you should have lived your life first before, oh, it's timeless, 10 years from now. No, it's not. Here we go, let's begin here. Now, this is for your September, let me see. Your first card. Queen of Coins. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see it here. It does match. Mm. Queen of Coins. Um, you are planning. Once I start, start talking about astrology, it's going to be sidereal, jotish. Um, the tarot is for anyone who wants to watch. Okay. Um, I see here that, of course, you want to establish yourself um, financially. That's a Queen of Coins. Um, but this is also opening up your business. If you are right now in the in the in the mindset of I want to create my business, this is the time. Just being honest, or I cannot be honest. Also, no kidding. Now, is this in Jupiter in your fifth house? Okay, so J Jupiter loves to be in the fifth house. It's in retrograde right now, which is giving you um, also an energy to open a business. That's one. But fifth house is dating, romance, happiness, house of mantra, house of um, past life merits. This is Bhava house, we are Bhagya, Bhagya, Bhagya house, which means luck. There's two houses that Jupiter loves. It's the fifth and the ninth. Okay. Um, so the way I see this as this is a, this is right now what is currently going on. Okay, for you, you have an expansion kind of um, two weeks. Okay. Now, it may even go all the way to October as far as the planet is concerned. But this one, the card is only for two weeks where you may be trying to secure the house, furniture, um, appliance, and building more and more of, um, you know, the home life. Okay. Now, I'm seeing here that there's also a desire for you to, um, I feel like change of career or you're, you're slowly outgrowing your job. You're slowly thinking that it's like maybe it's time for me um, to find a new job. This is one of those things also. And it, I feel like, yes, it can be. Um, I see here planet-wise you are favored. Card-wise you are also favored. Okay. And this is just your card of resonance. Okay. So let's keep going. Temperance, all right? So this shouldn't even resonate anymore, okay? In the coming days, your patience will be tested, but of course, our patience is always tested every day. Now, this is matters of the home, a little bit tense, a little bit like, okay, I'm not sure if I can handle. If you're married right now, you're really trying to work this out. This is also a, ten a tension between um, can be your mom, okay? And it can be your car at the same time. Um, I feel here that, mm-hmm, I see, okay. We need to be patient also with our health and the environment at work. We need to be watchful of that. In this two uh, in two two weeks in September, that will be a challenge for you to maintain peace at work, to maintain health also because I feel like there is a you're bouncing back and forth between um, trying to make the home life secure and at the same time your job secure, your career life. Okay? Mm, so that's that one. Now, um, for me to see this as a reconciliation of a past, no, that's not. Okay, let's dig deeper. You know, let's educate. Let's learn more about Tarot where it's not about Queen of Pentacles, Temperance. I I'm just trying to reconcile with my ex. No, I don't see that. Mm. I see here 
um, that if you practice uh, right now, this is Jupiter card. If you learn how to recite, you know, prayers on your end, mantras, you know, like you know, you create your own mantra. Um, it would be very, very helpful for you to access, okay, connections with your ancestor, which means like divine blessings will come to you. Now, I see here about a future travel, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, this will be on delay, so but the planning is here already. So the two of ones is the execution. The world is, you know, you're probably going to, I don't know what the, what are the website. Um, Trivago, right? I think that's a travel website. Um, Orbits, you know, you may be looking at all those sites. Now, with the two of ones here, real estate. Is what you're looking at which is of course saturn in your fourth house and capricorn it is i believe it's not its mola tricona but it is its own home so it will give 50 percent fruition mola tricona i believe is 75 exaltation is 100 percent um it would fructify so here you're getting 50 50 so you are probably on and off looking at properties in zillow on and off property looking at i think um what else I, I don't know what other website for properties, but I'm pretty sure you, 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 you know, whatever that you're looking at, okay? Because I know, uh, I think there's Redfin also, I think. Is that a, that's a website, right? Redfin. Um, so that's that one. Um, this can also be looking at business opportunities across the globe. So you're trying to plant um, a new business right there. Okay, I know this is not what they, what you know what you current you know usually get from me, meaning reading wise. But I'm always changing my reading because I, I, I tarot is one percent for me. I can see more than your ex coming or your relationship is coming. Okay, so let's uh, you know let's focus on other things. Now I'm seeing here that you have a tendency to um, splurge also, so be careful because the coins is here. You may be buying shoes. I'm seeing here you're buying shoes right here online. That's that one. That's the online, and you're you're gonna be buying shoes, okay? For others, even a new computer. You're something about technology at the home. Like you may be investing. Is I don't know if if you call it investment, where you invest in Libra. What do you call those? Like a um, Hey Siri. You know uh, I forgot what is in Amazon. Hilda. Oh no, I said <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. I don't know, like, hey, Amazon, something like that. Mm. Oh. Okay, now, one thing that would trouble you heavily, all right, is um, can be um, debts, nine of wands. This is fear of losing money. Nine of wands also is fear of, um, uh, I feel like um, not just losing money, like money going away or just a big loss is coming. So there's that there's that nine of wands. But I do tell, told you already, be careful on what you purchase online because I feel here like it's a little bit excessive. Mm -hmm. And then later on, you're going to be thinking, do I even need this? That's the nine of wands right there. Okay. Now, um, m burning money is left and right in this uh, spread. I see it here. Okay, so you gotta you gotta calm down, tranquilo with the credit cards. Okay. But I see the cash flow is consistent though, mm -hmm. which is good. All right. Um, relationship wise, of course, it's gonna be a struggle. There is definitely a divorce um, that is written in the stars right here, Queen of Pentacles, because there's a lot of things that is not being discussed with the Six of Swords. So be careful, you know, communication, uh, line of communication has to manifest now because it's been prolonged. These are cards of resonance, which means like this card right here, it is ongoing. You're always just doing your work, you know, your career and forgetting about the relationship. Well, you want to forget about the relationship because it's a six of swords for you. I mean, you guys always have fights with the five of swords before this, right? So always fight and then you just want to have a good sleep because you're busy at work. You're trying to manage the home life and this is for you. It's just like, well... You know, it is what it is, Sal, with the Six of Swords. So you're not even willing to work it out, okay? Hmm. For others, um, eh, let's see. I was going to say there is going to be... <laughs> oh, uh, there is going to be a new person here. But if you are divorcing or you're breaking up with someone, then this is that new person. Mm -hmm. But this most likely, if you're um, trying to connect with someone new, then this is going to be on the October when Venus goes into Libra. Right now, it's in 20 degrees in Virgo. Sidereal astrology, guys. I don't do Western. This is the actual placement. This is where the planet Venus is. I'm not changing it. Just people are wondering. So if you look in a telescope, 
and then you will see it oh so venus is in virgo okay so we follow where the star is um so with the two of cups here and the temperance um this is meeting of a soulmate and you know once venus uh, sits in its own home then you get 50 percent also which means an opening for a love connection business opportunity will be will fructify also when um october comes so if you're about business and gains from others okay you have the page of wands and the two of wands right here which means if there's a new person they will be a little bit younger than you um with the page of wands also it shows um like you need to go back to your creativity which i feel like it's here and you may also, um, this page of ones here, if you're connecting with someone, you may get pregnant, okay? Because this is very phallic, so be careful. Because mm -hmm. this is someone who's interested to, with you, and you know, if you're in that stage of you want to have a baby, they do love you, and this is transformative, so your life might change. This is heaven sent. If you are pregnant right now, congratulations, it is heaven sent. Of course, all babies are heaven sent. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, not me. I don't think I was heaven sent. <laughs> I'm from the underworld. I'm kidding. You got a queen of wands and the nine of wands. Confidence. This is your issue. Um, in the coming two weeks, we need to work on this. Um, so let's wait for um, end of uh, September in order for you to gain back what you have lost as far as, let's just say, like feeling funky. Okay? Because we don't want when your ascendant lord is in the 12th house. It, it means losses or but you know in spirituality it's a good time for us to meditate and contemplate before venus goes to your zodiac think of it like you know how there is solar return there is also venus return so you're going to have venus return by october okay which is very very important because that is your ascendant lord so this is also a special time for you to even um wear something like a diamond okay clear quartz cubic zirconian can be it's about the cut right mm, so diamond is going to be good for you um it is known that you know wearing the ascendant lord um gemstone is helpful mm -hmm. but there's a lot of work that needs to be done if it's about um wearing gemstone but it, i'm seeing here you may be inclined to using that as a remedy okay meaning but normally remedies you really need to consult does it make sense libra okay so i'll continue this reading further um so readings here are always different um, as much as, as possible, I give um, information beyond what uh, you guys can see and what you guys have experienced. Um, so link down there for the extended and for personal reading if you want. Um, it's going to be in the description box below if it's available. If not, do not reply to anyone who is pretending to be me, okay, DMing you. We, we, we don't reach out directly at all to anyone, so be careful. Um, follow me on all my Instagram, all my in my Instagram at Salvadora and Eat Read Love Inc. for all other, um, how to say this, um, social media platforms that we have. All right. Um, so I wish you guys well. I'll continue. Oh, you know what? This is a good time. Uh, well, I'll continue that about luck and how to manifest it because I'm seeing the chart about manifesting luck into your life. And also, if you're dating someone new, this is that one because Jupiter is in the fifth house for dating and romance. So very, very good for that. Okay. I'll see you guys again. Bye.